the human life, the jiva, is meant to become liberated from the tabernacle and bondage of the trigunamayi, the shackles of this material body, of our karma, papa karma, punya karma, leave this world and attain mukti or moksha. And then we go to the place where there's no karma, there's no, there's no karma in the spiritual world, there's no work, there's no action, there's only play. Play is not work. And there's, there's no anxiety, there's no tension, there's only bliss and love eternally. So this is called Atma Dharma. So now Krishna is not going to preach any more Sharir or Deha Dharma, he's going to preach Atma Dharma, Bhakti, Shravanam Navaveda Bhakti, Bhakti Yoga. And bhakti is totally transcendental. Karma yoga, jnana yoga, ashtanga yoga is material. It's lokic dharma, lokic activities. Bhakti is transcendental because it's totally connected with the transcendental Lord. And it can, connects and it engages the transcendental aspect of our being, our atma. Yoga is about the body. Jnana is about the mind. Karma is about moving and placing the body in relationship to this world and people in it. This is all material. But bhakti is about the atma. The atma, the jiva atma hears about Krishna. The atma chants about Krishna. The atma remembers Krishna. The atma serves Krishna. This is transcendental. So now he's going to talk about bhakti. And you have, you have my saksha darshan, and your hearts are melting in love. Sneha means a melted heart. When the inner core quantum of the heart actually melts in liquid mellows of attachment and attraction and sweet love for the beloved is called sneha a liquid liquid flow of transcendental affection sneha abhi sneha krishna said earlier oh gopis you have this type of sneha 